M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel, Kenwood D75. Let's add a memory channel. First thing we'll do is go into VFO mode. Press number one and you're in VFO. Press number two and you're in memory mode. Now, if nothing appears, it's because you have nothing in the memory. So let's go to number one and we will press the enter button and type in the frequency. So let's do one, four, five, seven five zero that's gb3 bc so that's our frequency now we want the plus or minus shift the quickest way is to go f then seven and it changes so there there's no shift there look at the top here just underneath the time f shift and now plus has appeared but we want minus f shift okay we've got a minus when we transmit now there's a minus shift M0FXB test, as you can see. Now we need to set our tone. So here, the number eight button says tone. So let's turn it on first by just pressing number eight and you look up here, it changes. DCS, tone and CTCSS. I like tone, so we're gonna leave it at tone. Once you've turned the tone on, it then allows you to select the tone frequency by going F, then pressing number eight again, F, then eight, okay? And we can turn the top knob, the smaller knob, until we get to 94.8 and press enter. So everything's set now. If we transmit, you'll see that M0 FXB test. That's our repeater. But how, did it, how does it know the shift amount? Well, there is a way. It's set to auto at the moment. So go menu, then the settings cog here, and there's two settings cog. So we'll call that one the small settings cog. We'll go enter. And we'll go up and down until we see the word repeater. Press it, and th there it is there, offset 0 0.60. Now we can change that. If we press enter, we can change the offset. Like So it would be 7.6 for 70 centimeters, for example. But if we come out of that and look, you'll notice that auto offset is set, set to on. So it's automatically finding out and giving us the offset we need, which is very handy, so remember that. Another thing to notice is, if you look in the top here, 141 it says, it's showing us the, the number of each setting that we choose, and the way that's decided, I'll just quickly show you, if we come out of the menu and then go menu the grid, each grid is a number, so you've got one, if you look at the number changing, two, three, four, five, six, and there's nine on the screen, so if you go to say nine, and then you've got nine here, then enter it, and then go to the first line, it's nine zero, the second line is nine one. If you go in that and choose the top one, it's nine one oh, nine one one. Hopefully that will give you an idea of how the numbers are working, but that's not why we're here. Next thing we wanna do is save that repeater, M0 FXB test to memory. Now, if you want to change the power level, at the moment we're at medium, it's right next to where it says PTT. So all you do is press to change power. See, it says low here. You just press F low, okay? Now it's low, F low. Now it's extra low, F low. Now it's high, or is that an M? F low, yeah, it's M and H. So you can set the power as well. And now to enter that into our memory list, press F then two, because number two is our main memory button. So we'll go F two, okay? We've put a few in there already. It's taken us to our memory list. We'll go down to the empty one, which is three, and just press enter. And it's put it in there straight away. And to name it, it's so simple. Look, edit. Press, wherever there's a blue, you can press this button or this button. So we'll press edit, and we can choose a group if we want. I'll leave it all in group zero for now, and I'll, we'll talk about groups in another video. Go down, and we can name it now. We're gonna go enter. And that one is B, C, so I'm just gonna go B, C, otherwise we'll be here all day, enter. And that's it, we've done it. Now if we go back to menu to come out, and there is, it does show you a back button as well. Uh, and we are, at the moment we're in VFO mode, how do we know? Because we can change frequency with the knob or we can press enter and type a frequency. So we'll go back. So let's press memory mode and go to number three, one, two and it's clearly marked here three there you are bc we've now named it and we could have had a longer name if we wanted to and that's how you add a memory channel and it doesn't have to be analog it can be a digital 
channel if you want or hf air band marine band you name it it can be whatever you want it to be but just remember that on the a band if we go back to vfo mode yeah and if you scroll through bands by pushing the right arrow it just does 2 and 70 but if you go to the b band like so and scroll through the bands pushing to the right Actually, we must be in memory mode. There, can't go back into VFO mode. That's why it's when you when you're in memory mode and you scroll to the right, it takes you through the different groups. If you've got groups, we haven't got any groups selected, so just go back to VFO. And now, when you scroll to the right, all your different bands. And the other one, I suppose we should have said really, we go out. If we go back to two meters, and you've got broadcast radio as well. I should have said the mode. So look, mode. Is that button and look you go AM LSB USB on the B band on the A band if you do mode you've got DR mode FM DR okay that's what you the mode you've got on the A band if we come out of digital by pressing VFO now we are in VFO so that's it mode okay I think that's enough for this video thanks for watching my YouTube channel 73 all the best